Hello everyone. This presentation is done by Professor Satish Petangare from D.Y. Patil Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Pune. In today's session, we will learn about the different sauces used in continental cuisine. In this slide we will discuss about, what is a sauce? The sauce to culinary is an art, what grammar is to language? A good sauce is that which makes excellent food wonderful. Sauces are liquids or semi-liquid mixtures. A perfect sauce has a colorful appearance. Sauce is glowing in its rich smoothness and its texture is that of velvet. Sauce has a natural flavor and complements the food it accompanies. Sauces are added to meat, poultry, fish, vegetables and desserts. Now we will discuss about the importance of sauces. Sauce enhances the flavor of the dish. Some sauces help in digestion. It gives moistness to the food. It adds color to food. It is served as an accompaniment and gives a contrast taste to another food. Sauce enhances nutritional value of the dish. It dresses and complements food that needs some additional quality and makes the food more palatable and gives a good appearance. Sauce gives tartness and contrasts or balances a blonde food. In this slide we will learn about the thickening agents used while preparing the sauces. Roux, it is equal quantities of butter and refined flour cooked together to various degrees. Starch, arrowroot, corn flour, fecule or potato starch, tapioca. Boer money, it is equal quantities of flour and butter are kneaded together. Egg yolks and cream, it is a liaison, added as a finishing agent at the end of cooking. Blood. It is usually used for game cooking. In this slide we will learn about the classification of sauces. In this chart we can see the classification of sauces with their examples. In this slide we will discuss about the bechamel or white sauce. The ingredients required to prepare 1 liter of bechamel sauce are Refined flour Butter Milk Onion studded with clove and bay leaf in this slide we will learn the procedure to prepare white sauce. Bring milk to boil with studded onion and set aside. Melt butter in a thick bottom pan. Add flour, stir and cook the roux over a gentle fire without coloring till it gets a sandy texture. Pour the milk into the roux stirring with a wooden spoon to avoid lumps. Simmer gently for half an hour. Remove the studded onion and pass through a fine strainer. Cover with butter to prevent formation of skin. In this slide we will learn about velute sauce. The ingredients required to prepare 1 liter of velute sauce are Refined flour Butter Stock of chicken, wheel or fish. Now we will learn the procedure to prepare the velute sauce. In a thick bottom pan prepare a blonde roux. Add cold stock to roux and stir vigorously to avoid lumps. Add mushroom trimmings. Simmer gently for an hour, stirring frequently with a wooden spoon. Pass through a fine strainer and cover with butter, to prevent the formation of skin. In this slide we will discuss about the brown sauce. The ingredients required to prepare 1 liter of brown sauce are Butter Refined flour Tomato puree Brown stock Onions Carrots Bacon trimmings and pork rind Parsley stems, celery, and bay leaf. Now we will learn the procedure to prepare brown sauce. Prepare brown roux in a heavy bottom pan and cool. Add tomato puree, stirring vigorously to blend well and cook on a gentle fire. Saute the milpua in fat and add the sauteed vegetables to the sauce. Simmer gently for 4 to 6 hours. Remove scum when it comes to the top. Strain and cover with a thin layer of butter. In this slide we will discuss about the hollandaise sauce. The ingredients required to prepare hollandaise sauce are Butter Egg yolks Crushed peppercorns Vinegar And lemons. Now we will learn the procedure to prepare hollandaise sauce. Melt the butter in a pan and keep aside. Place crushed peppercorns and vinegar in a pan and reduce completely. Add 1 tablespoon of water and cool. Add egg yolks and whisk. Place the pan in a double boiler and whisk the egg yolks till a sabion is formed or it gets thick. 
Then gradually add the melted butter until it is blended and forms a smooth sauce. Add lemon juice. Adjust seasoning and store at 30 to 37 degrees Celsius if necessary. In this slide we will discuss about the ingredients and the recipe of tomato sauce. The ingredients required to prepare tomato sauce are Refined flour Butter Dices of bacon trimmings Onions Carrots Celery Bay leaves Crushed garlic Tomato puree Chopped tomatoes Brown stock Sugar And salt now we will learn the procedure to prepare tomato sauce. Melt the butter in a pan. Add roughly chopped vegetables, crushed garlic and saute, till slightly brown. Mix in the flour and fry till it gets a sandy texture and gets slightly brown color. Add chopped tomatoes and tomato puree, and stir. Add cold stock, stirring to prevent lumps and bring to boil. Add seasonings and cook for one and half hours. Stir frequently and cover with butter. In this slide we will discuss the ingredients and the recipe of mayonnaise sauce. The ingredients required to prepare mayonnaise sauce are Egg yolks Salad oil Vinegar Salt Lemon And white pepper. Now we will learn the procedure to prepare mayonnaise sauce. Place egg yolks, vinegar, seasoning in a clean bowl and whisk well. At all slowly, a little at a time, whisking continuously, until all the oil is incorporated. Finish the sauce by adding the juice of lemon and warm water. This is done to ensure coherence of the sauce and to prevent its curdling. Mayonnaise is suitable for serving with cold fish, meat and appetizers. In this slide we will discuss about the dessert sauces. The common examples of dessert sauces are Chocolate sauce Custard sauce, apricot sauce, orange sauce, melba sauce. In this slide we will discuss about butter sauces. The common examples of butter sauces are Parsley butter, shrimp butter, anchovy butter, garlic butter, mustard butter. In this slide we will learn about miscellaneous sauces. The common examples of miscellaneous sauces are Bread sauce. Mint sauce, apple sauce, cranberry sauce, horseradish sauce, and roast gravy. In this slide we will discuss about derivatives of white sauce. The derivatives of white sauce are Mornay, Sobice, Cardinal, Onion sauce, Scotch egg sauce. In this slide we will learn about the derivatives of Velute sauce. The derivatives of Velute sauce are Alamand, Supreme, Hongroise, Shrimp, Wind Blank, Nantua, Caper Sauce, Barsi Sauce. In this slide we will discuss about the derivatives of tomato sauce. The derivatives of tomato sauce are Breton, Chauffeur, Provencal, Italian, Barbecue Sauce. In this slide we will discuss about the derivatives of Hollandaise sauce. The derivatives of Hollandaise sauce are Maltese, Mousselin, Nozette, Shorin, Bernice. In this slide we will learn about the derivatives of mayonnaise sauce. The derivatives of mayonnaise sauce are Tartar sauce, Green sauce, Vincent sauce, and Cocktail sauce. In this slide we will discuss about the derivatives of brown sauce. The derivatives of brown sauce are Demi glace, Chauffeur, Shasha, Madeira, Bordelais. In this slide, we will discuss about the finishing techniques of sauces. Reduction It is performed by simmering or boiling the sauce until the desired concentration is reached by evaporation without a lid, enabling the vapor to escape from the mixture. Straining It is done through a conical strainer lined with several layers of muslin cloth and is usually done before final seasoning, to achieve smooth lumps free and well-wet texture sauce. Deglazing, it means to swirl a liquid, in a sauté pan or other pan to dissolve cooked particles of the food, remaining on the bottom of the pan, using stock or wine. Enriching, addition of butter, 
cream and liaison of egg yolk and cream, adds smoothness, flavor, extra shine and richness to sauces. Seasoning. The last step is to adjust seasonings which include salt, white pepper, lemon juice, wine and fresh or dried herbs. In this slide we will discuss about the pang gravies. Pang gravy, it is a sauce, made with juices or drippings of the meat or poultry, with which it is being served and roux, stock or water and sometimes milk or cream. Julie, a French term, referring to meat juice that has been lightly thickened with either arrowroot or cornstarch. Jew roti or roast juices, a juice that comes from deglazing the roasting pan with stock, water or wine. Thank you.